So we set out for Mahabaleshwar on a monsoon day from Pune. It was my first time visiting that place about which I had heard of since forever. And just how much of beaches was I to do anyway? Driving through Pune, we stopped at Joshi Walewale for Vara Pao's and tea, which might not be the healthiest start to a day, but it was fun and filling as well because the drive was due to last at least two hours more. Beautiful vistas that you just couldn't take your eyes off from lay on both sides of the road. The winding roads shadowed by thick clouds with the terrain rolling down to depths on one side of us. Part of this ride was reminiscent of the roads of Meghalaya. Here we have stopped by for a couple of pics and to take in the place instead of driving by every scenic moment that the journey presented. And just in which direction did I point my camera? I was curious to see how high up we were. Dramatic mist forming over the hillocks, cozy chill in the air and the freshness in the atmosphere signaled we were far from the city now and nearing our destination. On reaching Mahabaleshwar, it began raining and the place looked like it was out of some gothic movie. Dense dark clouds laced the view on both sides with the wet road leading on through a tunnel of wispy mist. The sky above promising a whole day or more of rain. We booked our rooms at this resort called Tranquil Resort that cost us 20,000 rupees for a night for two rooms. We chose the rooms which, uh, which had a balcony attached and which looked out into the interior part of the resort. The whole area within the resort was canopied under a lush blanket of trees, which was a nice way to enter the resort. So I'm in Mahabaleshwar today and I'm here with my family. And I know this is not the best way to start the video, but it has been raining here continuously since morning. I mean, since the time we reached at least, we came from Pune and it took us like about four hours, two hours of which we spent in the traffic of Pune. And since the time we came, it's been like wet and raining and all of that, which kind of literally rained down on all our plans to like go out and check out a few places, visit some spots, even maybe hang out in some mainstream tourist attractions. But unfortunately, I don't see any of them happening. But I can't be complaining so much because the room, uh, the view from this room is quite amazing. I kind of like it. I quite like it. I actually like it. There's this huge balcony, very spacious balcony. And uh, you get to look out to this uh, area within the resort and everything's so misty. And you see this, uh, you know, the rain and the rolling mist all around is like nothing short of... Uh, amazing you know it's like beautiful it all turns out by the later part of the day hope to go out and at least to eat you know maybe somewhere if not like find new places to see so yeah stay tuned Now I'm making my way to have something. Missile pow is not something to have during this chilly weather, but I love it too much to pass up. Let's take a mini tour of the room now. I totally love these high ceilings. The balcony is huge, but it's wet and cold now with the continuous rain. And just look at what's going on outside. That's the inner part of the resort, you can see from here. And the mist is so thick that you can actually see it move and you can't see beyond a couple of meters through it. it. Feels mystical this place out here. So much silence, so much play of nature around. Oh, 
All right, now it's time to head over and check the rest of the resort. Not like I've come here to stay under a blanket because it's cold outside. My time to explore this resort and there's this lovely pool here which is totally empty because it's too cold to go into one right now. I really wanted to enter the pool but not at the cost of having my bones frozen. The rain had been persistent and like I earlier said, we had to scrap our plans to visit any of the highlights of Mahabaleshwar. So come dinner time and we were so excited because that was when we were getting to head out. And we went out for some sizzlers at this place called the Sizzler Place. Steaming servings of scissors and the rain outside quite go together, although I'm not a scissor fan at all. Now it's time to head back, and thanks for sticking around till here. Here are a few city moments along the way we passed on our way back to Pune the next day. <laughs>